Drop it. We are starting our day at Petco. That's right, we're at Petco. Now the reason we're here is because the craziest thing has occurred to Phoenix. Yes, my betta fish. I have no idea how could this even happen. It could be one or two things, but I'm leaning towards the first one. You have no idea what could happen, guys. I think, I think, guys, that my betta fish is pregnant. Yes, my male betta fish asexually reproduced with itself and potentially could have babies. Like, it'd be, would this potentially be the first betta fish to reproduce with itself and have betta fish babies? I have no idea. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna look at these betas here at Petco so I can find out if that can actually happen. So here's this koi female, no belly there. And the females are usually obviously the ones to be pregnant. Now I have this other beautiful koi female and this, ooh, look at this dragon scale male. Do I, does, does it show any, any giant bellies, any signs of giant bellies? No. So more dragon scales males, nothing. So this could be a fluke. This could be like, did I discover something? That did, did, are we the first ones to do it, guys? It'd be pretty crazy because he's alone. No one's in there. Nothing has been in with him. Here's this beautiful elephant ear female. Kind of like, see, she kind of has this little gut, you know? Yeah, your fish can be healthy, but they can be pregnant, you know? Here's this half moon double tail plaquette male. Oh, really? It's a plaquette? So it's small. Wow. Look at this platinum dragon male, guys. Look at this. How beautiful is this? This is the craziest thing ever. And then there's another one in here, I think. <gasps> there he blows. Wow. But to be honest, I have favoritism towards this one. Phoenix is pregnant. We're going to have to get a lot of things for a baby beta fish, man. I feel like everything's getting pregnant nowadays. Hopefully not me. <laughs> now look. Look at these balloons. Are you pregnant? Are you fat and pregnant? Oh, you're just taking a poop. Are you fat and pregnant? Are you fat and pregnant? Oh my gosh, everything's fat and pregnant. Oh man, I can't wait to go ahead and start breeding all these guys. It's gonna be cool, guys. I got some big plans in the future in the fish, breeding, life, industry, hobby, whatever you wanna call it. It's gonna happen. Are you pregnant? Mm, no, you're not. Wow, that's a pretty, pretty bumblebee beta, guys. Wow, the colors on that one. Are insane but I'm in love with the platinum dragon male hey little man what's going on so I'm gonna bring out the platinum dragon male guys look at this gorgeous bean reveal yourself show your slayers your beauty wow that's an amazing beta guys maybe one day I'll do a sorority or something or fraternity well fraternity can't happen but sorority sure just so confused like I have no idea what's going on with Phoenix I have no idea these betas are looking fire and now we're gonna head out and look to see what went down with our beta phoenix okay slayers we are back and hey 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 stop that so we have our two crawfish here we have the blue lobster the women one and that is the male right there hey what's going on look at this big guy oh he's so so big and swole look at that oh man i can't wait to start breeding all these guys but they're doing pretty good so guys i'm gonna give you an update on the blue lobster right here, her name is actually gonna be Crayola. One of the slayers suggested that name, but definitely Crayola is a perfect name for her. And I've also decided just to go ahead and name this guy Blue. Someone else named it Blue. I gotta get better at paying attention to the username so I can go ahead and put them in the video so you guys can get the credit. But if you guys suggested Blue or Crayola, DM me and I'll put you guys on my Instagram story 100%. But there you go, guys. We have. Crayola on top and blue on the bottom and we have all these guys over here still super swole and don't forget We also still have our pregnant crayfish mama her her name is just gonna be mama cray just cuz it's a little bit easier But for the main event we will check out our beta fish that is pregnant Phoenix the fat awesome man Yes, guys. He looks Pregnant isn't that the craziest thing you guys have ever seen a male beta fish that is pregnant this is insane. He is super bloated, but he's walking around pretty good. Look at that. Hey, buddy. How's it going? You feeling a little uh, round? Are you going to give us some babies? I don't think that's going to be the case, actually, because I started to really, really think about it. And uh, 
He might just be really bloated, actually. I've had a beta before prior to Phoenix, and something similar happened. You know, I may have had the, a heavy hand when it came to feeding him, but I mean, he's been eating really, really good. He's been eating these Wardley's uh, beta fish food with the good help of... It doesn't make a noise. I guess I thought I was going to make a noise if I did that. But I've been feeding him with this pipette as well as some frozen blood worms. I lost the pipette. But guys, regardless, what's been going on is not good. This could be very detrimental, meaning he could die. It could be, it can lead to a swim bladder disorder and stuff like that if not treated. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is set up an isolation tank. So this is gonna be his isolation tank that we're gonna go ahead and put Phoenix in with the good help of a plant. Now this plant is gonna be perfect, okay? Now you wanna go ahead and put some structure and you wanna just have nice clean water. Now we're just gonna go ahead and dechlorinate this water. It's not gonna be cycled or anything like that. Now, the main thing that has to happen is this right here, guys. The petite clean in bag green peas. Peas must be frozen so they have killed off any parasites that are inside the peas. Okay, you can't use fresh or raw peas. Now we're not gonna use the entire pea, we're only gonna use the outer film like the skin of the pea because it is a fantastic laxative for betas. Now I have done this and I have cured my previous beta from constipation by doing this exact thing which I found on the internet. All right, Slayers, and we're back with my telescope net and some prime that I need and my pipette. Hold on one second. Find the pipette. Okay, so now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just grab some sink water here. I have a water softener, so my water is not too chlorinated. However, I still like to dechlorinate my water. And I like to do it when the water is running so it can go ahead and go throughout the tank. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, just five, six actually. You only need about four drops for every five gallons usually. I think that's what it said. Anyways, no, I'm just joking guys. I like to just use droppers because it's a small little tank. All right guys, so here's our structure. It is just a fake plant, so we're just gonna add it right here. Push this thing down. I didn't add any gravel because I don't want anything from the previous tank to contaminate this one. This is a quarantine tank for him. So, without further ado, I'll go ahead and take a look at Phoenix. Hey, buddy. How you doing? You're looking kind of fat. Do you have babies or are you constipated? I mean, realistically, you're just constipated. So, I'm moving down right here. So, you guys can get a better view. It's kind of hard to see him because I decided to choose red rocks i think in the future once he heals up i think we're gonna go ahead and get him a tank like i said before guys so come inside my friend come on phoenix come on guys he's a trooper he was one of my first fish that i've gotten on youtube and on top of that he is the fish that survived the crazy roller coaster our boy here is a savage he's an absolute savage so we're gonna go ahead and put him in here as fast as possible there you go oh wow so he's looking pretty good. Actually, I think our pee is done. So I'm gonna grab the pee. So here's our pee. Now I'm just gonna drain it out. Here's our thought out pee. Now what you wanna do is just try to grab the skin. Just the skin is all you want. You don't wanna go ahead and actually use the entire pee. So you just wanna get the skin. Get that out. And here's what we have. This is what we're gonna use, guys. This is a great laxative. Now, you don't want to go ahead and just do this when you see your betta fish constipated. You want to stop feeding your betta fish for about three to four days. I haven't fed Phoenix for almost four or five days, actually, because I had no idea what was going on. Like, I was joking around before, guys, saying that he was pregnant and stuff like that, just to mess around. But also, just to make sure to see if it was 100% for real that he was constipated. So, so, you go ahead and wait five days. Now, you feed your betta fish. AP. So here, come check it out. Now you want to get little perfect beta sized pieces. So I've seen them crush flakes before in the future. So our boy's a big boy. Phoenix is not shy at all. So hopefully he'll eat. He has not eaten like I said. So this should be good. Alright guys, so now I have my pieces right here. We're going to go ahead and try to feed Phoenix for the first time in four days. Now, it's going to be kind of odd because he's never eaten peas. So he's going to look at it like he's like, what are you feeding me, Dad? Like, what's going on? So I'm going to try to see if he eats. He's actually getting air right now. He's doing a great, great job. So he's not too stressed in this tank. Now, you're going to continue doing water changes and stuff like this 
also in the future until you actually see them poop. Once you see them poop, you grab your pipette, scoop it out. You cannot leave any poop in here because if he's going ahead and actually pooping out, defecating the bacteria that's in him, causing him not to be able to digest the food, then he's going to continue to stay sick. But if you keep a nice clean tank, make sure he's happy, everything's good. Like, would you like to live in a poopy tank? I wouldn't think so. So make sure that your beta fish is super, super happy in situations like this. So 100% once he's healed up, we're getting him a brand new tank. So let's go ahead and feed Phoenix. Hey Phoenix, so I'm going to just drop it right on top. Watch it fall. Oh, he ate it. I spit it out. Eat it again, buddy. Oh, man. So I need him to eat those pieces because that will help him poop. All right guys, I got a smaller piece and he's doing good. He's swimming around. So I'm gonna keep this without a filter or aerator or anything like that. And come on, buddy. You see it, take a bite. Come on, take a bite. Eat it. It's good for you. It's gonna help you poo. Oh man, so I'm gonna continue to monitor him in this tank in this little enclosure in the meantime and hopefully he gets good and I'll continue to update you guys on what's going on and probably in a video to come and stuff like that. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know it's another informational, educational.